good evening everyone and welcome to another night of YouTube Championship Wrestling. And on their way to the ring right now are your retaining tag team champions, Adam and Andrew. Yes, they had a big, big win at Strike Back, retaining the tag team championship title. Andrew was eliminated relatively early in the match, which left Adam alone in the tag team elimination match. However, he was able to come back from that deficit and win. So like I said, they are still your YTCW Tag Team Champions. And again, they have another big match ahead of them. And introducing first, their opponent, Chase, from the Content Ent channel. I believe this is Chase's first tag team match. And Chase is also coming off a big win at Strike Back, having a win over the VG Dad, his first win in YTCW. So perhaps tonight he can uh, get himself another win, except this time in the tag team division. And Chase's partner tonight, dancing his way to the ring as usual, is Steven from the Super Gaming Sips. Steven had teamed up with OP at Strike Back to try and get the YTCW Tag Team Championship titles. Unfortunately, they were unsuccessful, but he has found himself yet another partner to try and take... Well, not necessarily take, but trying to, you know, just continue to work up that ladder in the YTCW tag bracket. So, perhaps he and Chase will be able to work well together, get a win tonight, and put themselves into position to possibly be the YTCW tag team champions. And here we go. This is actually a tornado tag style match. Uh, the difference is that all four men are allowed to be in the ring at the exact same time. So you won't see any of the standard tagging back and forth. You'll just see a lot of action and mayhem between these four men. And right now you're just seeing everybody getting tossed around the ring. Adam working on Steven and Andrew just taking it. Well, I was about to say Andrew was taking it to Chase, but Chase takes him down immediately with that leg whip. But Adam is staying on top of Steven, and as soon as I say that, Steven is bringing it to him with the punches, and Adam reverses with the punch. There's a lot of action. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a lot of clear commentary on what's going on. But here we see the tag team champs now working on the opponents. Andrew taking him down with that quick cut block to the leg. Adam working on Steven now. Got in a punch, but no, no. Steven now hits him with a huge European uppercut. Gets him up on the shoulder. Thinks he's going for that slam. Yes, he is. He gets him up on the shoulder and just throws him down to the mat. Chase now outside. Oh, misses on the splash. And then Steven with a huge chest stomp on Adam. Looks like Adam was trying to go for the triple suplex. Andrew broke it up unintentionally. Now he's getting him in for the triple suplex. Second. And then the third German suplex at the end there. Now Andrew with a nice, beautiful um, standing moonsault, followed up with a second standing moonsault. Looks like Adam's going to try and go for the cover. One, two, and Steven kicks out. Ooh, Andrew with a nice spinning heel kick. Adam's got Steven up for an F5. Looks like he's going to go for the cover now, possibly. No, no, there he is. Go for the cover. One, two, three. Andrew also going for the cover. Both men t uh, covering their opponents, not necessary. But it was kind of an interesting way to see the end of the match. Both tag team partners working together to cover, getting the three count, and getting the win. So again, another big win for the tag team champions, showing why they are the top tier tag team.
And in our next match, making his way to the ring is the VG Dad from the VG Dad channel. Yes, the VG Dad suffered a loss at strike back against Chase, but tonight he's looking to see if he can pick up a little bit of slack in this singles competition. And his opponent tonight, from the Master Thief Games channel, is OP. OP was also unsuccessful at Strike Back, the other half of the tag team trying to go for the YTCW tag titles. But tonight, again, going to be trying to make his way up the singles bracket. He's had a couple of big wins recently, and I think a win against the VG Dad would be very helpful for his singles career. The dad has had a lot of success in singles competition and is probably getting close to being next in line for the YTCW title. So like I said, if OP can get a win tonight, that'll put him in even better position than he's currently at. And here we go, OP comes running to the center of the ring, gets him on a front headlock, Dad gets out of it though, reverses him to the corner, and OP gets out of that by dodging out of the way of the clothesline there. And now the Dad reversing with the Snapmare. Both men looks like they're really trying to find their positioning, beautiful side Russian leg sweep, and I think Dad is coming out on top right now, I think he's finally getting in the groove at the beginning of the match. No, nope, just like that, hard throat thrust there. Just catching him right across the throat, knocking him down. Now Dad coming back with that swinging neck breaker. Keeping OP on the mats, keeping him down a lot. Staying on top of him, going in with those punches to the head. That's a good way to follow up. He usually doesn't relent on an opponent too much. He either gets them when they're on the ground immediately, or he goes outside and hits them with a diving splash. Now the VG Dad gets out again, hits him with that flying forearm there. Picks him up, and he's already going for the dad drop. Hits him with the dad drop early in the match. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. No, two count. About two and three quarters there. OP kicks out just in time. Now dad with a turning back body suplex. And here he goes. Yep, looks like he's going for the splash. Oh, huge jumping splash there. That was quite a ways to go. Went all the way from the middle of the ring to the left there for a cover. One. Two, three, yes, there is a three count. Seeing the replay here, the air and the distance he travels from the center of the ring, well done. Very nice maneuver, and also a very quick win. Hits him with the dad drop, and then that flying splash. And then in true fair sportsmanship, congratulating his opponent on a hard fought, but short match. And our next match is some ladies single competition. And on her way to the ring right now is the VG Kid. The Kid, to the best of my knowledge, is still looking for that elusive first win. She lost against Valerie going into YTCW Strike Back. And Valerie got the opportunity to take on Taylor for the Ladies Championship. However, Taylor was successful at Strike Back and has retained her championship and is still the YTCW Ladies Champ. So tonight, if the kid could get a win, it could give her a number one contender position. However, she has to get that win. And her opponent from the Super Gaming Sibs channel is the YTCW Ladies Champion, Taylor. Yes, Taylor has been on a very hot streak recently, uh, ever since... I believe it was YTCW Climax, she has been undefeated. 
Uh, I believe she has won four matches straight, if memory is serving me correctly. So I'm sure she's looking to get win number five tonight. Now, this is an opponent she has already defeated before, so she might have a strategy going in to make sure that she can walk out the winner tonight. And the official calls for the start of the match. The kid gets out of the way of the slap, hits her with that hard kick to the midsection. Now they both lock up. Kid's got her in the arm bar. And tosses her into the corner. We've seen the kid be very successful in that corner action. I think we've seen some bulldogs. We've seen some head scissors. So the kid really likes the corner. However, Taylor now working on her hard in the corner with a shoulder thrust. Now the knee choke. We've seen those kicks and knee chokes used by her a lot. Which I'm surprised the official allows so much. Now Taylor dragging her away from there looking for the cover. One. No, not even a one count. Usually the official at least gets a one count in there. Kid though gets up immediately, hits her with a side Russian leg sweep. Mimicking her dad. One of her dad's biggest moves is that side Russian leg sweep. Now Taylor just with a nice back body suplex there. Follows up with the boots to the midsection. Tries to get the kid up. Kid gets out of it. Ooh, but Taylor, just like that, hits her with a running DDT. And again, the kid gets out of it. And then Taylor gets out of it. Kicks her out of the way. Oh, there you go. You see in the corner, just like I said, the kid springs off the corner. Hits her with a nice diving splash. Looks like she's going to try and go for the cover now. One. Nope, just a one count there. Taylor is not ready to go down yet. Ooh, hard slap. Hard kick and a nice, beautiful, just high kick to the head. Now kicking on that knee, clearly working, Taylor grabbing her knee before she gets up, so those kicks are very effective. But Taylor, just like that, gets the kid down with a side rush and leg sweep, goes for the cover, one. No, just the one count. Now locking her up in her front headlock, looks for, yes, a running bulldog. We've seen her win with this a couple of times, one, two, three, no, two. Kid kicks out just in time. Oh, but this could be enough. I think we're going to see it. Torture rack. Backbreaker. Drops her down. Drags her to the center of the ring. Yep. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. And just like that, Taylor is successful again. And she is clearly showing why she is the ladies champion. She has taken on two other ladies to win her belt. And she has defeated both of her opponents soundly in the skirmish so again congratulations to you Taylor for winning yet again so we'll see how these two ladies do next week And our next match is a former champion versus former champion match. Making his way to the ring right now is Thomas from Power to Mario. And yes, he unsuccessfully defended his title at Strike Back in the I Quit match against Cappy. I think it was a somewhat controversial ending. He had Cappy locked up in the walls of Mario. And then Cappy unexpectedly throws him off. And I think uh, Thomas may have just landed a little funny. And, and it may have just sprung his back and he wasn't able to continue in the fight. And Cappy was able to become the new YTCW champion. However, with that being said, Thomas does have one guaranteed rematch that he can use at any point to try and go for the YTCW Championship again.
and making his way to the ring, Ryan the Nerd Herder. Yes, Ryan was the former Extreme Hardcore Champion, and he met Steven from Level Down Reviews at Strike Back. And Steven took his, I guess you could say his, his momentum from his win right before Strike Back and was able to defeat Ryan for the Extreme Hardcore Championship. So tonight, Ryan's going to be looking for a big win over PTM. Because if he can get a win over Power to Mario, chances are that'll also boost his regular single standing. So he may also be able to go for the regular YTCW World Heavyweight Championship. But, much like PTM, Ryan also has that guaranteed rematch clause. Since he was the previous champion, he does get a shot again for the Extreme Hardcore Championship belt whenever he decides to use it. The official calls for the start of the match and oh good lord, hard gut punch just knocking Thomas down immediately. And then Thomas with that was in the front uh, headlock there, then hits him with the back body drop to get out of it, and then a nice drop kick there. Both these men probably looking to unleash a lot of frustration after losing their titles last week. Yes, just a lot of hard blows right now. These men are usually more grappling than they are strikers. So it's interesting seeing both of them using their fists more than their usual grappling moves. Thomas now again hits him with a drop kick, gets him in the ropes there. Oh, Ryan dumps him outside though. Hard back toss dumping him outside. Standing in the same spot where he lost last week. I'm sure Thomas would like to get back inside if he can. Yeah, just like that, throws Ryan in. And then PTM, for whatever reason, goes in through the top of the ring. Tries to hit him with that diving forearm smash, but Ryan gets out of the ring, dodges it. Now Ryan again hitting with those thrusts, and then a jawbuster off the top of his head. Falls up with an elbow drop. Thought he might be going for that other cocky elbow drop he likes to do when he has his opponents down, but Thomas, just like that, gets up, hits him with a snapmare, falls up with a kick. Ryan now, though, up, hits him with a quick side toss, takes him down. Drags him to the center of the ring for the cover. One, two. Was that a two? Yes, it was a two count. Thomas kicks out just in time with a two count there. Now Ryan got him in the corner. Looks like, yep. Running Bulldog in the corner, hits him. Probably going to take him away from the ropes, go for the cover. Yep, just like that. Gets him in the center of the ring. Covers him. One, two. No, just a two count. Thomas is not out of this yet. Oh, thought we were going to see the reverse Yoshi ride. But no, actually it was just a big bomb splash. Two, three. Yes, Ryan caught him off guard with that spine buster bomb in the middle of the ring. And then that third attempt finally got the three count. So just like that, Ryan now has put himself in a little better position in the YTCW rankings. And that brings us to tonight's main event. And that is going to be a champion versus champion match. And making his way to the ring right now, your new extreme hardcore champion, Steven from Level Down Reviews. That's right, Steven got a little bit of redemption, getting that second shot at the extreme hardcore championship and making sure he did not waste that opportunity. It was a hard-fought match between he and Ryan, but it was a well-deserved victory after his hard loss at YTCW Climax. And his opponent, from the Master Thief Games channel, your new YTCW World Heavyweight Champion, Cappy. As always, coming out to the ring, checking the time, Normally it's fighting time, but I think he's saying it's championship time. 
Yes, a man very proud of what he has accomplished in a short time here. The second ever YTCW champion. And going forward, I'm sure all the men are now going to be gunning for him like they were gunning for Power to Mario. And now our champion versus champion main event is underway. As usual, both men meet up right in the center of the ring, hard toss to the corner. Cappy catches him with that rising knee into the bulldog. That's his most common combo with that corner move. We have seen him do, I believe, a swinging neck breaker, but most commonly he hits him with that rising knee into the running bulldog. Ooh, hard back breaker from Steven onto Cappy. Cappy probably his weakest area is that back. We've seen him give up a lot to the walls of Mario and a couple other back submissions. So that's a smart move from Steven working on that back early in the match. But now Cappy just taking it to him immediately. Hits him with that swinging uh, DDT and then a kick to the back off the snapmare. And then a knee drop. And then before Steven can get up, Cappy actually picks him up. Tosses him to the ropes. And then hits him with a swinging neck breaker. Looks like whatever kick he was going for, Steven blocked it, hits him with quick belly-to-belly -belly takedown. Now going for him from behind, switches him around to the front, tossing him all around, and hits him with a belly-to-belly -belly toss suplex. Yes, these men now the top tier of YTCW, and it's a good match thus far from these two gentlemen. Oh, Steven looks like he's going for a kick there. Cappy blocks it, hits him with a leg whip, takes him down. Again, goes for that swing and neck breaker. Cappy really focusing on that head and neck area in this match. Like he's, oh, thought he was going to try and give it to the corner. Ooh, hard clothesline from Steven taking Cappy down. Just worked him into the corner. Took a moment to pause. Thought maybe he was going to try and go for a hold. Said kicks him down. Ooh, but trying to get him up, Cappy hits him with a uh, eye rake and then hits him with that spin around DDT again. Again, working on that head, working on that neck area. Steven tosses him to the rope. Oh, nice back body toss. Ooh, just hard strikes from champion to champion now. And a side rush and leg sweep. Steven now really taking advantage in this later part of the match. Cappy reverses, gets out of the hold. Ooh, another huge clothesline taking Cappy to the ground. And another huge clothesline smashing Cappy to the ground. Looks like we're going to see a cover here. Yep, drags him. One. Nope, just a one count. Cappy goes from behind, hits him quick elbow strike in the back. Dodges the second elbow strike, hits him with a shoulder tackle. Goes again for the cover. One. Two. Nope, just a two count again. Hard gut thrust. Looks like he's, oh, looks like he's getting up for the torture rack. Very good move. He's used it to win a couple of times. Just like, yep, there he is. Cappy taps out to the torture rack. That works on your spine a lot. That puts a lot of pressure on the spine and neck area. You can see in the replay here, he gets him up on his shoulders, and he just starts working him in the torture rack. Steven, victorious tonight against the YTCW champion. So congratulations to these two men on their new titles in a hard-fought match. And as always, thank you for watching YouTube Championship Wrestling. If you liked all the YTCW action, make sure you give us a like down there. If you really liked it, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future YTCW Wrestling action. So, until next video, this is Adam, signing off.